Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this video is going to be on the top 10 best finishers in the game. Also if you missed the first video in the same category it was the top 10 strongest players then I will put the link in the description for you. So the way I work out the top finishers is by first of all taking their finishing attribute then if it's equal to someone else's I then go and uh, pick their second best attribute which is in my opinion shot power. If you think uh, it's something else and uh, let me know in the comment section below. Um, also, exclude this is excluding all informed players. Uh, this is before any d updates in the game as well. But I don't see uh, the top 10 finishers changing much from now anyway. Moving on to the top 10 finishers, then, getting straight into it at number 10. We have Class Hunterler. Not the fastest of players, but there is a reason why he's 85 rated. It's because he has 90 finishing and 84 shot power. He also has 3 star skill and 4 star weak foot. So he is still a threat, unlike uh, most of the top finishers, on their weak foot because such a high finishing rating. I would say a player with 4 star weak foot is still worth shooting with especially if they have such a high finishing rating. At the number 9 spot we have Edison Cavani, another fairly unused player in my opinion. He also has 90 finishing but 85 shot power so not really much between them. He also has 3 star skill and 3 star weak foot. Ok now moving into the number 8 spot we have Karim Benzema, again 90 finishing but with 86 shot power and 4 star skill and weak foot ability. He is a very good player and would be a great choice for any league of BBVA squads or French team because he's pretty fast but strong as well. In at the number 7 spot who surprises me just because I generally forgot about him is David Villa. He again has 90 finishing and 88 shot power. He also has 4 star skill and 5 star weak foot ability meaning don't worry about which, shoot you, which foot you shoot with in the box uh, you're guaranteed to get a good shot with either foot. Ok moving in at the number 6 spot we have Wayne Rooney the first Barclays Premier League player. He also has 90 finishing but steps it up a gear with 91 shot power. <clears throat> he also has 3 star skill and 4 star weak foot ability. So we are now halfway into the top five, top 10 and we are at number 5 right now with Zlatan Ibrahimovic an absolute beast of a player very strong and not slow either. He also has 90 finishing and 92 shot power just in front of Rooney. He has 4 star weak foot and he is the first 5 star skiller in the top 10. Now moving into the best of the best in terms of finishing, we have Radamel Falcao with 91 finishing and 83 shot power. He also has 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill. In at number 3 spot we have the last BPL player who is Robin Van Persie with 91 finishing and 90 shot power. Great player, also our first left footer if you haven't noticed already. He also has 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill. In at number 2 spot, one of those players you guys are probably thinking where the hell is he, it is Cristiano Ronaldo with 91 finishing and 94 shot power and some of you might say he is the best finisher in the game due to his shot power, so much higher than the number 1 player but again that's your opinion. He also has 5 star skill and 4 star weak foot ability. Ok last but not least, in at the number 1 spot you all know who it is, it's Lionel Messi with a whopping 95 finishing and 80 shot power which is still acceptable in my opinion. Something I'm surprised about is the fact he only has 3 star weak foot. He also has 4 star skill but I can kind of understand that because most of his skill is ball control and basic dribbling but super super good. Uh, but anyway, that is the top 10 finishers in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could leave a like rating that would be excellent. And if you have any other uh, videos that you'd like me to do relating to this, for example top 10 bronze finishers or top 10 silver's fastest players or something like that, then let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and listening, guys. I will catch you later. Bye. Won very well, but because I already won a cup with them, I thought um, you guys would prefer me to make another squad. And uh, the squad I decided to make was a Eredivisie league. So you'll see it in just a second. Uh, all the players sold, giving me about 10k to make this team. I think I had about 3,000 coins left over by making an Eredivisie league, so it cost me about 7k or so. And um, I'm pretty happy with it. Although I still think that league of this.